In the past, I've always said that you want to monitor your soil temperatures in order to gauge when is a good time to put out your pre-emergent. Well, you hit your soil temperature mark, you wait a few days, and just when you think it's time to put out your pre-emergent, your soil temperatures drop even more. But then you wait, and then your soil temperatures come right back up. But then wait again, it goes back down. So it's fluctuating up and down. So what do you do? Keep it simple and just mow. So monitoring your soil temperatures is key to determine when is a good time to put out your pre-emergent and that's by far one of the most accurate ways. Unfortunately, every so often, maybe every couple years, you get a situation where you hit your soil temperatures but then it's fluctuating up and down every couple days. So typically, this is what I normally would do. I would know your area. I just kind of research when is a good time to put out your pre-emergent and just go by dates. Usually, that's probably the only option or the only way you can go about it if you just strictly monitor soil temperatures sometimes the weather pattern may not cooperate with you that year so just go by dates for me in my area north georgia that date is between march and april or more specifically march 1st to march 20th that's usually a good time for me to put out my pre-emergent but of course i like to split my pre-emergent application usually i start in february and then i apply another app sometime in late march or early Early April. So the short story is go by soil temperatures but if you find your soil temperatures are fluctuating and you're about to hit your date or maybe the date that you typically would put out your pre-emergent has passed just go right ahead and put it out anyway you're not gonna hurt anything at the end of the day it's better to be a little too early than be too late when it comes to pre-emergent and you're doing split apps too when you do split apps you're kind of extending your coverage a little bit so I start in February and then again I apply another app usually around late March or early April. This way, it doesn't matter what the soil temperatures are reading, I have coverage to protect me against those pesky little weeds. Now I've said this already in another video but I'll say it again. If you're new to an area or you just moved into a home, don't wait until you hit that pre-emergent window to put out your pre-emergent. Just go ahead and put out the pre-emergent guys because you don't know what the owner before you have done to the lawn. So go ahead and put out your pre-emergent. Of course, the only exception is if you have new sod. Remember that. If you have new sod, do not put out a pre-emergent. Other than that, don't rely on just soil temperatures and being in your window, especially if you're seeing weed pressure. If you see a lot of weeds in your yard, just go ahead and put out a pre-emergent. You can deal with the weeds later, but putting out a pre-emergent is just gonna stop the bleeding.